everybody and welcome to my Unruly Housewife channel. Today I'm doing a book review for you and the book I'm reviewing is How to Make Polymer Clay Beads by Carol Blackburn. Now they say never judge a book by its cover and that couldn't be more true than in this case because I think the cover is pretty dull. It's disappointing. I don't, I don't know why I just don't like it but it's a brilliant book. Carol, it says on the back here, studied uh, textiles at Manchester College of Art, which is not far from where I am now, and uh, then did her postgrad studies at the Royal College of Art in London. So um, she's got a fair old bit of arty experience there. And I mean, this book is 10 years old and still going strong. So clearly she knows her onions. <laughs> um, looking at her website, she's in Santa Fe at the moment, or she's kind of stateside generally. So, or soon she's in Santa Fe, I think, in February. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to take you through the book, have a little journey through the book, and I'll just show you how great it is. The photographs look a tiny bit old fashioned. I mean, they're 10 years old, and I think probably today we have clearer photographs, but I don't know, I'm not a photography genius myself. She shows you every sort of equipment you need, even cookie cutters and things. She really takes you through the whole lot, ball styluses, um, even a food processor, which I don't have. She stresses that you need to use an oven thermometer and goodness knows that's something I'm stressing all the time. She's got a craft heat gun that looks like a hairdryer, which is pretty terrifying. Look, see if I can show you. Look at that. You, you could burn your hair off with that, can you? That looks like a hairdryer. My, mind you, mine looks like something you get from Ann Summers, so <laughs> that could be even worse. Um, she shows you pasta machines and stuff and then she starts in with the techniques and very very interesting techniques I've never tried this one I'm gonna have to try this which is the feathering do we do lots of different shaped beads she does simple canes she does complex canes she shows you how to apply them to beads or how to make you know little flat beads out of them if you want to it's a very, very comprehensive and descriptive book, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to find some of my favourite things here. I've marked them with these tabs. We know that I always fill the book with the tabs and then never, ever turn to those pages <laughs> from my other book review. But I'm going to do it today. So, mica shift. She does mica shift. Again, one of my favourite techniques, very good for making 3D things. And I've got a video somewhere which I'm going to put up at the end so you can click on it, which is about making card embellishments that are like have a faux 3D look to them. And I didn't use the phrase mica shift, I don't think, because a lot of people don't know what it means. But anyway, I'll put a link to it, you'll see it. She also shows you how to make faux things. Um, there's wood. That's not my favourite one. My favourite one that she does is onyx. Let me find it to show you because it's amazing. Look at the onyx. Does that look real? That's amazing. She also shows you something quite unusual, which I oh, it's quite unusual to me anyway, which is coral. Let's have a look. Which I haven't really seen anyone else doing. But... <laughs> The thing is that word, I can't get over that word because that's what that man on um, Walking Dead calls his son, isn't it? <laughs> Wait there, Coral. <laughs> it's like, he's not like Coral, it's Carl, say it properly, you're his father. Uh, <laughs> jade, silver, all kinds of things that I'm looking at that you can't see, which is fascinating for you. And then at the end she says, bring it all together. And she not only tells you then about beads, she also tells you about the sorts of things you can string your beads on and the findings that you need and just how to generally use your beads. I mean, look at this, memory wire or stuff like that. She goes into it all. I think this book is an absolute must. Even if, like me, you're not like chomping at the bit to make beads every day. It's still fascinating and it still adds to your knowledge about polymer claying. And look at these, look. Aren't they amazing? I hope I'm showing you the right things. Okay, I highly recommend that book. I'll tell you the title again. It's How to Make Polymer Clay Beads by Carol Blackburn. And I got mine from Amazon. I'm sure you can probably do the same. Still haven't got an affiliate link. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I keep telling people to buy things from Amazon. I'm sure you can find it other places. Um, I'm 
filming a tutorial and hopefully that's going to be out tomorrow or the next day i've had some a couple of really weird and difficult days so never mind i've got the book review out haven't i if you have read this book and you think it's useful do share in the comments down below and if you haven't read it i hope this has shown you something about it that is useful to you i'm going to go now i think i've used enough of your time thank you very much for watching i really appreciate all the love and the feedback and the interaction that i get and um, the fact that people watch me even when i'm talking about books that have been out for 10 years <laughs> no you really this is really well worth mentioning i love you all Bye.